up, y'all? Yeah, boy, and I'm Sukulis at African Geek. Welcome to Movie Catch Up. This is a series I do on my channel where I catch up on the latest movies, whether they're in the cinema, whether they're the Netflix movie. I'm just coming around to watch it, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the movie. First, uh, I, this is the Netflix movie catch up one. That's why I kind of put it in <laughs> that introduction. The first movie I'm going to talk about is uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. This was an interesting movie. Classic rom com fashion. It was beautiful. It was sentimental. It had you in your feelings. I mean, like, it did what it, it was intended to do. I mean, like, and one of the biggest highlights for me for this movie is how diverse it was without even needing to say it was diverse you know what i'm saying that the lead was asian the whole lead family was kind of asian asian and the father was white it was mixed i think the main love interest was hispanic then his one of his best friends is black and Bachelor i'm talking about then one of the love interests uh, other love interests was black white I think another one was white too, I think. Yeah, they just threw a lot of scenarios at you that were normal, were just like day to day life and how diverse it was. Like it wasn't just something they just spilled out. To you. Like people were cast because they were cast, if you understand what I'm saying. Even though it was written by an Asian American girl, the story is based, based on her life, but. You know what I'm saying? It was natural. It, was, it just fit. It was a beautiful movie. He, big up to Noah for stealing this show. Like, every chick be talking about that dude now. I know him as Jesus on the Fosters. Like, yo, it's a come up, yo. And he probably filmed these movies, like, way back. Because he looks way different. Like, older. Anyway, I really enjoyed this movie. I gave it, like, an 8 out of 10. It was complex. It wasn't too cheesy. They had some real stakes moments too. I think the the main character chick did push to ham on Peter at the end, but they kind of did the groundwork to show why she's so untrusting, why she's so close up. But you you sympathetic when she is wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a good movie. It was a good movie. I recommend if you haven't watched it to watch it. Like I said, eight out of ten. Next movie, Sarah Burgess is a Loser, not an old movie, this movie was hilarious, RJ, that dude is funny, I liked him in Power Rangers, I liked him in Me Erlen, Dying Girl, I liked him in this movie, he should really be bigger than he is, <laughs> like on the real, I hope he's getting the recognition he deserves. The main character, Chick, who's in Riverdale and Stranger Things, I don't know, really know her name, but she was phenomenal too. Noah was phenomenal too. The best friend, that girl who was a cheerleader, was phenomenal too. Like the story here was more interesting. It, the third act could have gone more better because it was like yeah, they just had like a driveway talk after the cheerleader best friend went to talk to the guy. Maybe they should have showed us that conversation. Who made the third act wrap out nicer? You know what I'm saying? Like. It felt rushed to me at the end. I felt like it should have been more, you know, anger and hate than understanding. It was kind of like, yo, I understood without really talking to you why you did what you did. I'm still mad, but yo, I still like you for you, which is admirable. It makes Noah's character look bigger and better. But from a narrative standpoint, the realism was off there because everything else in the story is just phenomenal in realism like i also give this an 8 out of 10 like tell you know we'll be killing the game the next movie on the block is the package the weirdest movie out of these three netflix the package oh i, got, I wonder what they were thinking when they were making this movie it's totally hilarious totally cringy like it is so weird this movie is just crazy it's about teens who go on a camping trip one cousin's dick off then it's a whole adventure 
adventure of them getting the dick back for the other dude. It was weird as hell, funny, and just so hard. Whatever romance in between. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. Oh, like, it was a good time. Do I recommend you watch it? Yeah, you can watch it. Rewatch value out of these three. I say the other two have more rewatch value than this one. This one, I think, was like a one and done. It's a good time. I'll give it like uh, 7 out of 10. It's not perfect. Sometimes you're like, ugh, trying too hard. You know what I'm saying? But it was a good time. I found myself enjoying it throughout, even though it was cringy. It, yeah, like I said, 7 out of 10. Deuces.